In today's video, I'll give you a quick overview of my smooth text animation pack, which includes 50 fully customizable in and out text animations, as well as an animated gradient background. It's super easy to change the text, select different animations from the drop-down menu, and just make everything your own, from basic font styling to gradients, glows, wiggles, text boxes, and more. All right, so to get started, unzip the downloaded file, and then inside Premiere Pro, go to the Graphics Templates panel, click this plus icon and select the extracted folder. If you don't see the panel, make sure Graphics Templates is checked under the Window tab. And if you're using an older version of Premiere Pro, then look for the Essential Graphics panel instead. By the way, if you see too many templates, you can just uncheck other folders. Okay, so first of all, we have a template with 30 classic text animations, then a template with 20 bouncy text animations, and as a bonus, a customizable animated gradient background, which I will show you in a bit. Let's start by dragging both text animations into the timeline, then select any of them and open the Properties panel. If you don't see the Properties panel, make sure it's enabled under here as well. And if you're using an older version, you'll find the same settings inside the Essential Graphics panel. Now, let me just quickly increase the scale so it's easier for you to see. And so by default, the classic one is set to Slide Up Lines Animation. And the bouncy one is set to pop in lines animation. But we can switch it up. For example, let's choose pop in words for bouncy. And slide up words for the classic one. We can also extend these layers as much as we want. The in and out animations will still work perfectly. However, if for any reason you don't want to see the out animation, you can simply make a cut somewhere in the middle and either delete it or set it to no animation. Or you can even pick a different animation if that's what you prefer. As for the customization, you can obviously change the text. You can also change the font, position, scale, opacity, color, and then if we open text spacing tab, we also have letter spacing, line spacing, and even text alignment. Then under the animation speed tab, which is specific to classic titles, we've got three options, slow, normal, and fast. For example, let's set the in animation to slow and the out animation to fast. Now, if we play it back, you will see that the in animation is slow and the out animation is fast. Next up, we have Drop Shadow. It might not be visible on a dark background, but if we change the shadow color to something like, let's say, blue, and increase the distance, you will clearly see it. You can also adjust the softness as well as direction. Then we've got the Gradient tab. Let's just increase the opacity. Personally, I like to keep it at around a halfway for that modern look. We can obviously also customize gradient colors and color position in here as well. As for the Glow tab, when you turn it on, it might look off at first. That's because we have a background. To fix it, just switch the blending mode to either Screen or Linear Dodge Add. And then we can also change the radius and opacity. Then under the Wiggle tab, we can play around with Character Wiggle or Full Text Wiggle. However, it's important to note that due to a technical limitation, once you extend the layer past its original length, the wiggle will pretty much freeze. To work around that, I've included some shake presets. They are in the same folder as the rest of the files. Just right-click the presets folder and select import presets. I've also added a few more effects, such as constant zooms. For example, let's add a slow zoom in and smooth shake preset to the text layer to get this look. This way we can adjust the length as much as we want without any issues. Anyways, the next step is for a text box. For now, I included three text box animations. A simple fade in, a horizontal slide, and a vertical slide. And of course, you can change the color and opacity as well. The boxes are fully responsive, so if you add more text or change the scale or tracking, the box will adjust automatically. But if you want more control, I added an option to manually adjust position and scale as well. 
And finally, there is an option to enable motion blur. While it does make everything look smoother, it can also slow down your system quite a bit. So I recommend enabling it only before exporting. Oh, and as for the background, that's just a little bonus. You can customize the colors. Uh, let's maybe change these to white. And then we can also adjust the opacity, add some vignettes, and maybe throw in some noise for the trendy look. And yeah, looks pretty good. Everything is in 4K 60 FPS for extra smoothness. And as always, if I update the pack, you will get the updates for free. Just make sure you're using Premiere Pro 2023 or newer. And that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.